Billy Green. I'm with Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence. I'm here to show the Romer arm with a non-contact probe using the software Tube Shaper. Now, Tube Shaper works if you have a CAD model of your tube. This is something that's made from a tube bender. You can actually come in straight and do an inspection. Now, how this non-contact probe works, just like it sounds, it does it without making any contact to the tube, so you don't have to worry about it flexing or bending at all while you're inspecting it. If I just hit play, it's a very simple inspection. The little yellow lines show me where I need to make swipes with the non-contact probe. And all I have to need to do is swipe the probe around the straights, and the software will do the rest of the inspection for me. All right. At the end, it gives you your tangent point data. Your tangent point data is how you find out if your tube is in tolerance or not. What you can also do, and any sort of, if you have any errors to your tube, you can actually send the corrected data back to your bender using tube uh, shaper. Now, if you don't have a CAD model for your tube, you can actually reverse engineer it. Come in here to make a new one. Tube, all you need to know is the number of straights, the bend radius, and the tube diameter. Those are all things we can find with some of the tools that are inside Tube Shaper. I've already done that, so I'm just gonna hit OK. And just like the inspection, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Take this tube probe, swipe it over the tube. And you'll see it reverse engineer it right next to me as I'm doing it. Now we have a CAD model, freshly made, that we can compare all future tubes against. Now what's really great about this software is we've added the spring back and elongation. What happens when you bend tubes is sometimes you'll bend it to 90 degrees, but when you take it out of there, it'll spring back to 91 degrees. So you need to overcorrect it next time you have to bend a little bit more. So what we can do is we can calculate spring back and elongation values and actually send those to the bending machine before you bend the first tube. That way you have a better chance of getting that perfect tube on your first try instead of five tries like it normally takes. It automatically generates a report, as you can see here, just uh, gives you a CAD, all your different data. And you can actually control which data you wanna see just by using these check marks here, turning it on and off. And you can drag and move your data to different areas depending on how you wanna set it up. And of course, you can add your own company logo right there in the corner for all your reporting needs. That is Tube Shaper in a nutshell. Quick and easy, the training is incredibly easy. It takes about a day to train for Tube Shaper.